Say hi! And welcome back to Gibbous! Where we last left off, uh, we were chasing after Butcher and Katype is in Darkham and has no shoes. Nothing resonates. There's a graffiti here. It's another one of those dubious cultist signs. Use a mark on it. No? There's some sort of weird resistance to the haunter's mark, but I'm not that interested anyway. Actually, it's the, uh, apparently it's some sort of elder sign in this to keep away, um, bad thingies. The weird sign does nothing for me. Anyway, let's go on. See if we can find the voodoo gentleman. Oh, it's her! Marco. Hey there. What's a nice girl like you doing in this part of town? Charmer, huh? Not really. I try, but I get called out on it a lot. I'm Don. I'm Margo. It's nice to meet you, Don. Yeah, likewise. Got uh, business with the voodoo gentleman? Why do you ask? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm a private investigator. I ask questions for a living. Sometimes I do it without even noticing. Just stop by to thank VG for, um, turning me on to a better path, I guess. Extra straight? No, just talk some sense into me. Let's just say I no longer want to murder my husband. Well, ex-husband now. And I got rid of my toxic lover. Ugh. Oh, well, I'm sure you deserve a good guy for a change. I'm sure I do. So, what are you doing these days? I, uh, roll with a librarian kid with a magic evil book and a talking cat. Just trying to nab this psycho who wants to bring the world to its knees. You're friends with Buzz? Did he pull a fast one on me? Well, it was for the best in the end, so tell him I said thanks. You get around, Margo. Uh, things just happen. Hey, Don. What do you say once you're done with all that? You and me get a coffee. Yeah. I'd like that, Margo. Then it's a date. Catch you later, Don. Wait, uh, how do we get in touch? I thought you said you were a detective. Smooth. See you when the world is saved, kid. Oh, that's cool. Next resolution. Do the taxi driver as well. And now, we'll just go talk to the... Morning. The guy. Password? BG. Fidelio. Hello there. Greetings, traveler. The voodoo gentleman, I presume. You presume correctly, sir. And you are? Katype. Don R. Katype. Friend of Buzz's. He was here a while ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's all right, I hope. Is the cat in the same predicament? Still a wisecracking nightmare. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Interesting interior design choices. Why, thanks for noticing. A little eclectic, to be sure, but clients seem to appreciate it. You travel a lot, don't you? I can see you've been hitting a lot of the gift shops. Oh, no. I avoid those like the plague. Only authentic stuff for me. Shipping is a pain, though, believe you me. So, uh, what about this Olmstein character? Buzz tells me you says he's a good friend of yours. Yes. Yes, I did say that, didn't I? It's a... Weird, weird thing about Bob. What is? Well, everything. Um. What does he look like? What's his deal? You probably won't believe me, but see here, it's strange. I've been friends with him for decades now, or at least I'm convinced I have. And yet, it's like one of those dreams where you see the person clearly in front of you. But yet when you wake, you can't for the life of you describe them. Oh, oh, come on. I'm serious. Bob is, well, he's something else. He's the one person I can really say has changed me. I mean, in his presence, I always feel, um, 
volatile, uh, inconsistent, vibrantly fluctuating, inevitably equivocal? So we're just listing fancy words now. Do you have a picture of him? Is he on, uh, what you might call it, the, the social, uh... Media? I don't think I've ever seen Bob in a picture, and he's... He's undescribable. A true mystery. Not that you <laughs> care, but none of that helped. Like, at all. What can I tell you, Mr. Katype? Some people are just hermetical like that. Him. Has Bob ever gone by the nickname The Butcher? Oh, no, no. The Butcher? The Butcher's a horrible person, whoever he or she is. Care to uh, expand on that subject? Not much is known about the Butcher, even in my circle. He's rumored to be into god-awful, unnatural experiments with the dead. Ugh, horrible, horrible stuff. Bob can't be the Butcher, or at least I don't think so. That's true. The Butcher wants to nick an icon, and all I've seen is doing something about it. I understand he's some kind of authority in occultism. The extent of his knowledge is splendiferous. He knows a lot of stuff about a lot of stuff, right? But it's all... I can't put it into words. He's different, Bob is. Well, that went nowhere. Okay, no much information about Bob. Getting on to something else. Wait, before that, there's something about you. I get this feeling that you are somehow marked. All right, I'm impressed. Yeah, I, uh, I touched something called the, uh, Shining tra Trapeze... Tra trapeze... The Shining Trapezohedron! Yet, yet you stand here before me. So it's true. You have the Haunter's Mark. Forgive me to throw such a cliche at you, but you truly are chosen. Why, uh, thanks for noticing. Mom always said one day I'd show them all who Don Katype is. Of course, you know, with great dark powers come great dark responsibilities. Oh, yeah. Tenebrous forces consuming and corrupting the mortal soul and all that. Not really a surprise, to be quite honest with you. So, um, do you know more about this mark? About the Haunter's Mark, what exactly does it do? It is supposed to turn its bearer into a receptor of sorts. Great. Now I'm a receptor. A way of channeling past events that involved said object. The things we could learn about the world by employing its power. It boggles the mind. Hmm. Yeah. It does sound kind of useful. Kind of like it a does. superpower. So, I'm not complaining. Not exactly a superpower. It's a dark gift. And it may come with great personal costs. Dark or not, I, uh, like gifts. I can, uh, make my hand glow on command, too. Yeah, that's pretty rad. Yeah, it really helps him with being a detective. Because he can learn stuff. So, how's the voodoo business going these days? You know, can't really complain. A possession here, a curse there. It's really picked up with all the weird cults running around lately. Yeah, gonna be digging into a lot of that soon. I'm in the need of some robes to attend the Fishmouth Festival. Think you can help out? The Fest? Whatever would possess you to want to go there? Word of dispassionate advice. Don't. Those are bad, bad people, if people they be. I'm up to my neck in it. Can't really back out now. So, can you help with the robes? I sure can. You're going to need a fine piece of silk, a miniaturized sewing machine, three tufts of recently shed koala fur, uh, Anything what? else? A cemetery caretaker's liver, voluntarily donated. What else? Uh, you know those fish that kind of blow up into, like, spiky spheres every once in a while? Uh, what are they called? Puffer fish? Yeah, well, one of those. Well, not for the robes. I just really always wanted one. Anything, Anything else? Anything else? Male alligators baby teeth, but they have to be in pristine condition, otherwise they're useless. Oh, and any kind of indie game developer DNA. Tears have historically proven to be the easiest to procure. Okay, I've heard enough. Okay. Don't you happen to have the actual article laying around somewhere? As a matter of fact, I do. Can I just, uh, have it? No, uh, fetch quests or anything? Hmm. 
Yeah, sure, why not? It was really appreciated at last year's Supernatural Society costume ball, but I doubt it would hit as hard this year. It's in the chest over there. Let me unlock it for you. Thanks, voodoo gentlemen. You're, you're all right. No probs, Donatello. Please don't call me that. There we go. So, how do I look? Appropriately stupid and scary, simultaneously. Alrighty then. Thanks again. I'll be on my way. Whoa, whoa! Hold on a minute. That's not enough to get you into the festival, dude. It isn't. What's wrong? Well, don't take this the wrong way, but your smell. Um. I had Parisian cheese a while ago. That can't be it, can it? Jeez. No, no, I mean, you don't stink. Oh, yeah, I knew that. But you need to stink to be let inside Fishmith during that unholy festival. I'm guessing, um... Like a gym Fish shorts and sock stew boiling on a dung fire? Quite the vivid imagery, but no, it's more specific than that. More in the vein of... I've had hundreds of rotting fish rubbed against these robes I'm wearing. The festival seems to be a very fish-themed thing. The locals are very particular with their social gatherings. Of course they are. So, rub a dead fish on it, huh? It shouldn't be too hard. I'm afraid that won't cut it, Don. It really needs to be a lot of rotten fish. All right, Mr. Voodoo. Good looking out. I'll try to think of something. Later. Take care now. And take care of Buzz, too, while you're at it. Will do. Thanks, VG. Um, let's go see the fish shop. Maybe they have some rotten fish. Yeah, it's open. Finally. Oh, he's very fishy. Morning, brother. 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 Okay. Yeah, I need fish. Show sure thing, brother. What type and how much? Type doesn't really matter. Need hundreds of them. Rotten. Oh, that's suspicious. What you need them for? What do you care? I got the milk. I can cover it. Can't sell your rotten fish, sir. Sir? What happened to brother? Anyone can wear a robe. And when they start making dubious demands, how do I know you ain't one of them health inspectors? Oh dear. Do I look like a health inspector? Maybe you're undercover. Yeah, undercover health inspectors. That, that's a thing. I ain't risking my license revoked. Some kind of refrigerating unit. There's a pipe leading up into the ceiling. Probably something needs to be real chilly like up there, but this unit doesn't seem to cut the mustard. Hmm. Ugh, no. Um. Brother. Mm, I don't. What's uh, the deal with the hanging chain? All due respect, sir. That's none of your business. I detect a pretty strong smell coming from up there. Could it, perchance, be where you keep all the merch that's gone bad? Now that's presuming a whole lot, sir. Not exactly a refrigerated environment if we go by old factory clues. What old factory? There's a smell, Brother Fishmonger. And nasty stuff dripping from the ceiling. That's my damn business, if you don't mind. Oh come on, we uh, we we bros, you know it. I straight up and down don't. Oh dear. Say, you look familiar. What? We all look the same to you, Darkamites, don't we? Racist. Racist? <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. There's just something about your uh, your features, your eyes, maybe. You think I don't know the stereotypes y'all throwing round about us? Fish face. Bug eye, and all that sort. Well, I'll have you know, 
before you make any kind of ignorant comment about my eyes, I've got a sleeping condition, all right? Well, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that, bro. Is that bad, are you? Are you taking anything for that? Yeah, it's bad. And no, drugs don't work. Do you, uh, take sleeping pills? I ain't working for me. I can take a fistful and it'll be like chugging some joe. Uh, yeah. Yeah, dog. Life ain't at ease if you ain't got those Z's. Yeah, like you give a rotten fin about my problems. Just trying to empathize here. Do you happen to have sleeping pills around? Yeah, got mine right here. They're yours if you want them. They're no use to me. So what mm. do you do about your sleeping problem? You sure curious. Well, it can't hurt to tell you. Been experimenting with hypnosis and suggestion lately. Hypnosis? Really? Does it work? Well, it ain't been long, so I don't really know as yet. Doc been suggesting stuff to me for some sessions, and the payoff's still to come. What's the payoff? He calls it the Catalyst. It's a secret spoken command. Supposed to make one fall asleep instantly. So, Interesting. did you get yours? Sure did, but I'm scared to use it, to be honest. Doc says I might sleep for three days straight. So, out of curiosity, what's... Your secret command. Doc says I ain't supposed to share that with anyone. Why? It'd cause chaos in my personal and professional life, it would. Yeah, I suppose it would, wouldn't it? Plus, if I told you, I'd just fall asleep instantly. And then it'd be all awkward, wouldn't it? I suppose it would be, yeah. Um. Catch you later. What we can do is use this. Your secret command is bubble wrap. So. I bet I know what your command is. I'll bet you you don't. Bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. How'd you? There we go. That was easy. Huh. It worked. I have to admit I had serious doubts, but it, uh, it actually did. And it was time to get my robes dirty, so to speak. Oh dear. I hope Don's all okay. Oh yeah, he's fine. So, this was it. Stinky old fish meth. Smell-wise, it was probably the fishery I'd just come from times a thousand. I was blending in like a professional and itching to sink my teeth into whatever fish meth had to offer. Except the local food. Um... Lots of weird things. And guys sleeping here. Some fish both think. I've got a rotten egg. Well, I can't smell it anyway. I, I guess I'll keep it. Huh. And a name tag. Randolph. Okay, my name is Randolph now. I belong to a uh, Randolph. I have no idea why I picked this up. It could be useful to get food. I'm pretty sure I would regret doing that. Really? He's way too focused for me to disturb him with chit chat. You will learn the rituals in time for the festival, or else. Those two. Greetings, uh, uh, brother and sister. Hello and welcome to the festival, fellow believer. Forget all your worries and praise to God. But I compliment you on your smell, brother. Oh, uh, thanks. Just a uh, curiosity. Is it the socks? Uh, yeah, okay. It's the socks. That's what I thought. Enjoy the festival. He really needs to wear some shoes. Of 
going to kill Tist. Greetings, sister. Are you not bothered by the, uh, the adjacent vomiting? Zishta zidaraku zibelurduk kanpa yashta kanpa ya. Yeah, it is a shame about the economy, but what are you gonna do? Interesting. Sick cowardice, jumping cowardice, talking cowardice. Oh, Koba. The voodoo priest. You're mine. Hello there, brother. Uwangba, Papa Lengba. Oh, sorry, I, uh, I had no idea. She's dead, Milton. Just leave her here. Oh, uh, Milton. Trash can, it's been useful. I guess stinking horribly yourself negates the downsides of rummaging through trash. So, here I go. Oh, got a really rotten egg. Oh, yeah, squishy goodness. More eggs? And, uh, a boot. Okay. What am I gonna do with all these eggs? Mother Hydra, uh, our, uh, Yes? Parents? They are our parents! And it has never been, uh, uh clearer that, uh, with, with their help, we shall never, uh, Um... Lose? We shall never lose this fight for our uh, evil identity or know any other uh, gods. Uh, look around, brothers. Cast your eyes on the person next to you. What do you see? Well, I see a group of... Uh, True believers. A group of true believers good, like I've n never seen before. And our, our numbers are always rising. Make no, no, no mistake. Our endeavor is a... Uh, historical achievement? Our endeavor is a historical achievement. Fear us. Uh, world, uh, take a good, uh, hard look at us, uh, for we shall bring nothing but, uh, but, um... Death and destruction? Death and destruction to your doorstep! Uh, we are the next in line, uh, for... Well, that didn't work. Okay. Yeah, I tried to rip him from his speech, but I think I chose the wrong words. Well, we'll go see, uh, see the old man's there. Really got a tentacle beard. Some dude. I'm picking it up. Oh, God, I'm actually doing it. Oh. We got more eggs. Evening, sir. No offense, but you don't really look like you belong here. Oh, hey there, Padre. Yeah, no, I'm kind of visiting only. I thought they didn't let visitors in during the festival. Depends on who you're with, bro. My okay. wife's a regular. We're here on our honeymoon. Hey, what's with the passed out guy with the eggs? I don't know, dude. It's sort of gross, but at the same time, it's kind of ruining my appetite. 
Which is cool though, cause I've been waiting on my fish and chips forever. Yeah, he's out cold. Guess his eggs are free for the taking. I guess so, man, if that's your kind of thing. It's cool, bro, seriously. I'm not judging. Yeah, thanks. It means a lot. Hmm. Interesting choice for a honeymoon. Yeah, oh, well, I know sort of a goodbye guy. to the old way of living on her part, as an F, I mean. Then we're totally changing our lives around. I remember now. Oh, is she around? She's in there, getting some fish and chips for us. Ugh, not partial to fish myself. Then what the heck are you here for, dude? <laughs> but yeah, I ain't crazy about him either. But hey, when in Fishmouth, you know, we're splashing out into like a debauchery sort of deal while we're here. And then, we're totally changing our lives around. I remember now. Um, when, in the very early episodes, Buzz did the thingy with the, uh, Voodoo doll and the model, uh, poster. She lost her head over a male model. And that's him. It all comes full circle. Nice to see someone happily married. Didn't get to experience that yourself, bro? Me? Happily? Huh. No. But, uh, I'm glad it worked for you. Yeah, man, me too. You know what I love about Azanath? She's not one of those all-up-in-your-business wives, you know? She ain't about, I don't know, taking my life over. That's nice. Yeah! I love that she gives me my personal space. What else do you like about your wife? She just lets me be me. That's major. Yes, help. It's good. Anything, uh, anything else you like about your wife? She's not possessive. I'd hate that. What else do you like about your wife? She loves being herself and leaving my life in my time to myself. Tell me another thing you like about her. You know what? This conversation's getting a bit weird. And I'm too hungry for it. Ah, you just right. didn't see anyway. All right, man. I'll uh, I'll let you wait for your meal in peace. Enjoy the festival, Brosif. And don't Brosif. indulge too much, you hear? Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Hey, up there. Full stop. Okay. Hey, up there. Oh. This baby ain't sailing anywhere ever again. Well, they be messed up that boat. We're full. Go somewhere else. Stop pushing. Hmm. I mean, don't drink like a fish again. The eggs need to be there in time for the ritual. Okay. Well, the old man's not here anymore, so he must be hiding somewhere. Think I need a container. True. You don't have any containers. Still have a fish hook, though. Can I be useful here? I don't know. This, uh, can't be Randolph. Let's see if I can mess up his, uh, speech again. Hopefully this time. Oh, yes! Biggest pro- They are our biggest problem! And it has never been a- Achieve anything! We shall never achieve anything! Oh, no! And a group of losers like I've never heard of. Wasted our endowment. Lemon cake and cotton candy. Lemon cake. All right, that got him a little riled up. <laughs> brothers, brothers, wait, it's a misunderstanding. I didn't mean. Now oh, he's gonna be doomed now. Uh, 
Boop, I should boop. throw something else at the. Uh, egg. They're a bit more excited. More eggs. They're even more mad. And one more egg. Yay! We egged him up really good. Tea and glass of oil. Come to Papa, little glass. I see you do uh, coffee anymore. I don't know what this guy's deal is. Let's check. I'll <laughs> I'll just lie down here for a moment. Proceed without me. Interesting. Otis, welcome. Okay, I'm just gonna get, um, my, get myself a glass of oil. Delicious, delicious oil. Got myself a glass of oil. Yummy. Okay. Well then, we'll stop here for now and come back next week. Until then, take care, keep it up for the other side. Bye!